April the 3rd, 2023, and you haven't seen me in a while. All right, here I am. <laughs> uh, I am going to video record this video. Really not for the audience, but this is just like a message to Thailand. Um, involved since 1995. Before Vladimir Putin. Uh, where Thailandese royals, I already have written about a little something on my new site, my blog, House of Times. With Putin's involvement in this case in 95, once I disembarked from celebrity cruise lines from the ship and Central Intelligence Agency. American CIA had complete control over my life in Miami, using me for overseas abductions for no less than 13 years. For 11 and a half years, I would not even visit Slovenia because of this. Uh, it was decided in 1996, I don't know about 1995, but in 96, it must have been 96. Uh, the first thing that happened was all the parties got to know one another. Yeah. Uh, that the Thai royals were interested, uh, actually they expressed interest, martial interest in me through the princess Bayra Kitty Abha. I was okay with it. Uh, I think she was underage at that time still. It was a long time ago. Close to 18 or 18, I don't know. And uh, everything appeared is going to work out just fine. But it was Vladimir Putin who intervened in it. And uh, Thailand is a country that spans between China and between India. Thailandese people are actually Chinese people, for those that don't know, who, however, have somewhat assembled in their culture uh, Hindu, Hinduism, uh, you know, not really Hinduism, but Buddhism, which is kind of a mixture of Hinduism, Buddhism. Uh, they have a certain degree of Indian culture present. Uh, and so for that matter, If I look this from, for that matter, if I look this from, well, I have like a 50-50 pop-ups here popping up to me. Uh, for that matter, I, I'm sort of forced, also for that matter, to make this video to clarify it about how things progressed over the course of almost now 30 years since. Um, for the personal safety of the Princess Bayra Kitiaba, for this country to understand uh, the insight, my insight in respect to Vladimir Putin as of right now. And this is solely based on what I stated. It's not, it's not, it's got nothing to do, it doesn't have any kind of, I would say to you, you would have any kind of um, political involvement uh, in respect to Ukraine from my point of view or something that I would be instigating in something from uh, the perspective of Ukraine against Putin or something like this, but uh, it's like this, in this MK Ultra. Uh, here in Slovenia, there must have been some, I'm not going to say 50 different Paira Kitty Abbas 
uh, Slovenian government have used. Uh, that number would be grossly exaggerated. However, there were quite a few Slovenian government have used uh, to express itself in a most bestial ways possible. And eventually, if they had knowledge uh, about a visit, unofficial visit from Thailand or something, it, that madness would go into unbearable heights. Now, Slovenia is a country with a Russian flag all through. Uh, interesting to notice that Slovenia was the country who had that flag before Russia adopted one. Uh, it makes no difference. The politic is completely aligned to Vladimir Putin to the Russia due to the Serbia uh, and so these are the things that cluster it definitely my my vision my existence uh, and have narrowed minds of big countries like India and China in in an Asian part of the world at large. And don't get me wrong, because I don't see myself in American politics even a little bit, because I deem that American politics is a colonial, imperialist, neo-Nazi politics. That is just, the more you go to West, I think the more is imperialistic, hateful. I'm not, I'm just not, it, it, to me, it, Europe is like, division of the West and East and these Eastern European countries uh, would rather have not to do anything with it, not with imperialism, not with the Nazism, but then you lean from Poland towards Germany and, you know, it's a big contrast to history of the two nations. Uh, and so is this border that goes along somewhat even Danube River from other river that can confirm the same here in the Balkans. Uh, just different, totally different uh, ways which are still present at large due to econ economical interests. Uh, also security interests also in Thailand, you know, despite to what I stated uh origin of the thailandese people and uh the culture they have aligned themselves a lot with um german culture for british colonialism still in my my view in my opinion remains a very very important player in that part of the world i don't embrace one at all you should know this by now uh i i just you know, um, not really a political person. I never really wanted to have anything to do with the politics. Maybe this is why I was even bigger potential for these people because I was always running away from the politics. I didn't want to have anything to do with it. Uh, but when I had to, do get down and uh, I get my hands dirty if necessary. And will not let me feel a problem as such is then resolved according to my expectations you know so i want to go back to this issue and i was gonna write that the tip type some stuff in this but i figure out this is going to be faster easier more efficient uh and more, way more personal too um for the sake of the safety of the Princess Paira Kiti Apa. Uh, few days ago, a big supporter of Vladimir Putin uh, was blown up. If I go to the news, I know that, that, that not India, not China, I understand this stuff. I get it. None of you want to see any 
anything to do with any news like this. Um, but unfortunately, you guys were involved since 1995 with Thailand and Russia also participating next to Americans, Germans especially. And so I don't have a choice other than to just lay down the whole thing. And as I stated, it's not meant for any kind of political uh, issue other than to protect the interests of her safety, her well-being. That is an important factor. Uh, it's also, I will also use this news to point at Vladimir Putin as for myself, as I think that uh, Mr. Vladimir Putin, who ruined these deals in 95 and 96 and 97 for me, continued all the way uh, and with a news I'm about to talk to you about this blogger from Vladimir Putin that was blown up it appears to me that this man is up to something very bad against me too that, that he is just that he is just obsessed with more evil against me and so that I don't really need um, um, how can I say I never was asking for problems with the Russians uh, they ask for problems they created problems the stuff they have done to me is unimaginable uh, and this is a gutsy death threat from Vladimir Putin to me personally I consider one yes but he also casts a very dark shadow uh, on somebody who not necessarily should even implicate herself into this case uh, for her well-being sake, I'm going to say. Yes, I have to be direct like this. I am not going to give up for my stuff, stuff I do, uh, but at the same time, under no circumstances would I go and uh, let something to happen to, to a person so important to me. This is just not going to happen. So that's why this video. This Russian blogger was involved in MK Ultra with his girlfriend. I don't know since. He was not one of those first people, but probably since 2000, maybe, something like this. He was a really young kid when it all started, and it was nothing other than violence. Whenever this guy was involved, his sessions, NKLJ sessions, were just like extreme violence, lies. But that's actually a Russian culture from what I know here um, I noticed this stuff already a few days ago and uh-huh uh once I saw this picture here, this, I wasn't going to publish this at first, but this picture here, this female picture, this is too much. Uh, I am not going to go and exercise protest against this stuff. This would be like my, you see this pop-ups is crazy. I would be protesting anybody or anything like this I'm just saying I'm not gonna comply with this violence uh, the contemplation on blowing up the barrack was the issue of Vladimir Putin involved inside of MK Ultra uh, in this bar they had me there uh, I visit this place 
drugged up under MK Ultra was brought uh, God knows how many times. Really never wanted to see Russia, not even from far away. Uh, but well, if you if you insist so much on it, uh, this girl was involved in it and had me inside of this store. I don't think that Vladimir Putin expected this video, but you're gonna get one, buddy. This clothing here, this, according to her words, her words, when she had me inside of the store, according to her words, this here was to remind me that a Princess Bayra Kitiaba is up to no good that her Thai royal family is out there to kill me. That's all there is. If you're gonna go for it, they will kill you. They only have one intention and it's basically to murder you. This is gonna be your last warning. FSB, a Russian KGB, exercised for, according, apparently to me, based on what I was, uh, I got an impression, based on what they were giving me an impression, for like three years, a future blown up bar. It was about how we're going to do this, how we're going to do it. It wasn't nothing about how we're going to do it. Uh, they already have uh, done it. They came up with, it started with this bar that is going to be blown up in 2012. And it was the last time that I was reminded of this bar, I believe, in 2015. With this here that you see. This was the last stuff. This is in Slovenian language, Slovenian news. So the Ruski always is using uh, a proxy, uh, you know, to deliver the news on the table, even if you don't want to see one. Because I, it was a lot of stuff, a lot of crazy stuff. I wouldn't want to look like a schizophrenic or something, which it was used to discredit me at large by the Slovenian psychiatrists. Um, I'm not going to say on behalf of Russia because it was not on nobody else more behalf than on behalf of the Germans, on behalf of British and Americans. Uh, they were the one who created this stuff in 1997, 1998. When the psychiatrist, local psychiatrist Tatiana Proctor was not even on university yet, um, she became concerned about, she was about to go to university, uh, started maybe even the first grade of university, it was something like this. Uh, was worried terribly worried about uh, what is going to happen to her if uh, <laughs> if she will engage in a lunacy. You know what lunacy is? Lunacy is like you see something like an American horror movie, except that Americans, with the mighty Hollywood they have, which participated since 1995, have not made movie like this yet. This is interesting because they made all kinds of creepy, creepy stuff movies. You know, about serial killers, how they bury bones, uh, people behind the, the backyards and hide them inside of the closets and, you know, all kinds of crazy, you know, mysterious, insane shit. It, really, really scary stuff. But it's one thing they have never done it. And maybe... Just maybe that's actually much, much worse than any horror movie. Maybe for Steven Spielberg. Nah, he is very political. He wouldn't touch that stuff. Uh, maybe for some other producer, an idea. Why don't you create 
a video, actually a video, a movie, a nice little Hollywood success depicting on how schizophrenia is portrayed to the public. Uh, at times, how schizophrenia is even created. The person is incapable to mentally handle the issues uh, which are done to one. Uh, eventually, one can turn into a schizophrenic. Um, why don't you create a nice little movie, British would say, in which you portray a psychiatrist, psychiatrists, a police officers, investigators, moving inside of the apartment or house. It doesn't matter. It could be a part, apartment complex or it could be a housing project, whatever it might be. Why don't you do me a favor and make a Hollywood success in which you're going to demonstrate uh, when the police officers move inside of his room, inside of his house, uh, cook next to mother, cook next to father, get inside of the room and touch absolutely every little object that is inside of the room. Anything that can be found inside of the room while having individual drugged up, I, my mother came upstairs. Just hold on a second, please. Misrepresent to an individual on how to see every little object, whether that be, let's say, several pens, and for every pen, how he should see in multiple stories from variety of people, therefore involving a broader community doing it. This one is orange for a reason. The company Bellymet, actually this one is Medtronic, Medtronic, is for the reason inside of my room. I didn't brought one in here. Everyone is here for the reason. I didn't even create a setting here inside of the room. If you did not notice, they broke the watches, they broke this, they, they, they just selectively are creating based on a violence. What they believe would be my preferences. Financial, on financial grounds and so on. Why don't you create me a, a movie that is going to demonstrate an individual in his environment, in his nature, in a nature around him, uh, where he is demonstrated on how to pursue the reality. Therefore, completely illusion, a lunacy, uh, how he should pursue this as a his own reality because this is how you create a schizophrenia you know the schizophrenia this is a schizophrenia that's how you create schizophrenia in one there is no hollywood movie there never was any movie like this there's only videos about terrible psychiatric hospitals there's only videos about uh the demented, demented people, it's like, ooh, 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 ooh. somebody see the world around him. But there is no video. There is no movie about the stuff I have stated. In 1998, I think it was. Yes, in 1998, I think. Psychiatrist Tatiana Proxer, not psychiatrist at the time yet, growing teenager, going to the University of Ljubljana. She is very near here, actually, from Blue Lagoon is the name of the place. I met her through her mommy, through her mother. Was worried, panicking about 
the assignment, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Zoran Muja from Ljubljana, a bunch of psychiatrists that were involved in it. Psychiatrists who became visible once I was hospitalized in 2013 for what the claim is a schizophrenia, a paranoid schizophrenia, that kind of stuff. All of a sudden, these people surfaced. What trying, because she was interested, she expressed interest in psychiatry, what trying to get her to do exactly what I stated. Like, portray me the world like through the eye of a complete, complete lunacy. And I remember there is a Grabenski potok here, Graben here. People refer to them as Illuminatis, you know, elites. They would always walk around this, uh, uh, along this uh, stream. It's a stream. It's a little stream. Graben. Graben stream, let's say. It is a nice, idyllic location right there. They would go to and they would have picnics. And found myself next to this girl talking uh, incredible. I mean, unbelievable walking around the fields inside in here in the house, outside, everywhere she was present next to me. However, talking a sheer, sheer, sheer lunacy like total 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 insanity uh it would be like if you approach to that house or if you approach to this place or if you do this or if you do that it was everything was based on a threat everything was like the whole world all of a sudden was against me everybody was enemy everything was enemy Enemy, enemy here, enemy, 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 every fucking where enemy. And they introduced the public, the society is enemy on every meter, every, every meter. The entire village was stamped, labeled as completely insane, as a, as a, as a village of lunatics by the Serbs alone who wash their hands, sometimes like in 2001, uh, deemed in the face of locals here that barely any kind of tourists, the village people displayed extreme likeness for mental illness uh, due to fear. It was all based on fear. Milan Kuchel was the one who came here and did exactly the kind of sessions I'm talking about. I have spoke about the psychiatrist, Tatiana Prokshul. Uh, in front of the village people, uh, that threatened, uh, all kinds of stuff. And these people contracted this, and based on this kind of view, this kind of perception they started to develop. If you threaten an individual, if you do bad things to an individual, if you start to behave like uh, like let's say is depicted for a partisans during the World War II, 80 years ago, uh, like some kind of extreme hostility against uh, Americans, against the Germans, against the Britons, everything is going to be just fine. You're going to have a job, you're going to have a family, and there's a local guy in whom everybody has to see, Germans, British, uh, Italians, and so on. That was me. So the more hostility that you display, the more you see yourself through the eyes of what I stated, the more successful you're going to be. It's going to be a company, it's going to be a job, it's going to be everything, it's going to be chickens, are going to give you eggs and so on. That's the schizophrenia I really, really existed in a most, as Americans claim, the most polarized country, polar, bipolar Therefore, mentally ill country. They acknowledge Slovenia is a totally, totally mentally ill country. 
polarized country in Europe, they say, is Slovenia. On one side, people are going for uh, Russia, uh, China, not really. Uh, and on the other hand, people going totally for America, Germany, uh, not really. These people who did this stuff were police officers. Let me demonstrate you this. Who 80 years ago worked at this place here. At this place here. These were the employees, these young people. These young people, police officers who participated in 1995 in the uh, most brutal butcheries ways possible, were employees here. They worked here inside 80 years ago. This these guys. This is just a. Uh, this is just a uh, main. And what you see right there, this is just filled with the human bones. Uh, this is what Tito did after the Second World War, basically, he stashed, it's called Ro Barbara. He stashed this hall with the uh, human bones, they throw human beings inside alive, then they simply uh, put some bricks on it, and they let them die over there, basically, in their own way. These people have expressed, police investigators of Novo Mesto have expressed dissatisfaction with the Slovenian fraction which collaborated with Adolf Hitler. And these were the people that assisted in 1995. So it does not surprise me that the village people here of the Kirka village displayed such a high degree of the real, real, real schizophrenia. Uh, yeah, knowing that stuff they did is a lie, still having a job, having opportunity for the business, it's not a, such a bad thing when compared to the unemployment and other problems that they could see Slovenian government freely utilized on me. So seeing themselves through the eyes of the schizophrenics who caused what you see right there, a mass murder, was not such a bad thing even for the people here from the village. As for the police officers from the Nova Mesto station, you're talking about the people that should never be a police officers anywhere. You're talking about the people, the young people, um, which many were not really without houses, but they were like two who lived inside of the apartments. Um, they had workers background and they didn't really have money um it was also one who had house like the one who traveled to the thailand uh it's just that he was really not so wealthy it's just that at his place at his house they they didn't have a, such a big fruit yard and access to the river therefore a riverfront like my father had and he just loved to mistaken me with my father uh, he was just confused with other police officers therefore with the people employed at this Ro Barbara where they committed this mass murder he was just um, not that he would want to see it through the eyes of this schizophrenics, uh, the crime against me. Uh, he was really, really, really violent thug. I believe that none of these police officers who participated in 95 should have been a police officer of any kind. These are not the people that should be a police officers. These investigators, this police here from Novo Mesto, these were regular thugs, regular assassins, regular employees, from the row Barbara, these are not a police officers who had already their 
discriminatory view on world based on what I stated right there. These are just the people that even eventually have referred to themselves as grobari. During MK Ultra torture, they refer to themselves as grobari. Those are the people that bury people. That's how this police investigators, this novel master police officers used to refer to themselves. Grobari. Just to make a little bit more traumatizing experience, but you know, MK Ultra is all about causing one trauma through the use of violence. These people made a strong impression next to me on a Chinese side, on a Chinese delegation, because the Chinese communists have affiliated themselves here in 1995 with the first thing they did, they affiliated themselves. And those are the only people who have visited from China. It was a top Chinese delegation with the Xi, with, with the ex-president China, uh, ministers. It was all communist. All, it was all communist. Yeah. The thing is, those were real communists. And unfortunately, Milan Kuchan, Tanya Fayon, uh, Mr. Golobic, Borut Pahor, who claimed were ex-members of the Yugoslav Communist Party. Uh, unfortunately, in this hostile environment, which British alone, Americans alone created, and that's, you know, what this video is going to be very, very important, maybe to give a hum humanity finally a peace a proof about really what the world looks like 80 years after the World War II. Uh, a Chinese side started to see themselves in these people uh, uh, rather than to partake a reality that was right in front of them. Yeah, reality was I was drugged up. Reality was I was poor like a mouse. And reality was that I just was proud as I was, and I wouldn't give a three fucks about the more they dared me uh, with anything anybody would dare me, the more I would dare back, bully back. I would not back down, and if it was necessary, I would even take to the physical level, whatever it is. I engaged heavily, and it was just uh, this that became like a total hit for Americans who use me afterwards to to meet more frequent, to meet more often for the Germans and partake a, a part in these negotiations, socio-economical global negotiations, uh, literally through uh, depicting themselves, like I said, uh, literally gathering proofs against me uh, for the sake of Milan Kuchan, uh, and so that he could look as legitimate as possible because that's what Vladimir Putin requested. And so Americans gestured me of how it was this investigator who did not have his house, um, he couldn't stand anybody having a, even a land, like a little farm, whatever it would be, where we would go for a walking and stuff like that. He would get into with other two police officers frequently into the physical confrontations. He would attack farmers, engage with them physically. Um, there were physical fights that broke up between him and between the farmers because the farmers, the farming people had land and he didn't have land. It was so schizophrenic environment they created uh, that is something unheard, unseen. They were just instigating incidents, physical fights, one after another to entertain this public world global leaders. It went on like this against me with beatings and crap. China supported. Uh, until probably like 
2001 or something like this, when Chinese realized that they didn't have to support violence against me anymore. It was United States of America, it was British, it was Germans that wanted to portray me uh, as my case, like on a global level, like on a big size level, like a case of uh, a little man, European, a uh, human being, a little guy uh, from a little country that had nothing to do with the Nazism and so on. Uh, who was like in United States of America working for a, nothing other than minimum wage, uh, taking any kind of opportunity, struggling on every corner, on every way. And uh, uh, in return, the Chinese Communist Party, which th the truth is that this Communist Party became very wealthy people. Uh, the police officers here uh, loaded themselves with the money like there is no fucking tomorrow. I mean, this be these people became wealthy. They got special housing projects for some of them through the loans, houses, modern with Baba basically moving a fucking finger. The money was just sipping in their pockets big time. Discounted properties, uh, loans, almost like money for nothing literally uh you had the police officers with 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 salaries of the police officers basically buying a fucking houses of lawyers top lawyers uh, doctors and so on they progressed incredibly for me life in my america was everything but rosy uh, it was a struggle and the chinese learned that filthy british gotha saxe kaburk windsor's battenbergers had a plan to demonstrate me to the world as you know chinese communists as well the police officers here investigators who cried in 95 in 96 98 got into the frequent uh, physical confrontations fights uh somebody who actually is wealthy because these people are all fucking wealthy when compared to myself in 2000 it was when police investigator who met me at the, at the police station started to complain to me uh that he was raped in asia that he had to go with the asian girl in bed and he feel violated raped and stuff like this i mean they impregnated women all over the place it was fucking hilarious rather than anything else and me without nothing working for a minimum wage whenever i was alive allowed became citizen in 2000 in the u.s uh went through the worst stuff that you can possibly imagine when it comes to immigration american immigration not allowed to work waiting period all that bullshit starvation total crap but still would not let go and they started to build this case chinese learned about this stuff they quickly understood that milan kutra and the slovenian side had nothing to do with the communism and they had nothing to do to offer to the communism that the whole thing was a fucking trap it was a trap designed to fuck china and portray chinese communist party like an ultimate like evil like you know Here's the fucking guy who had nothing, and then you have a communist, uh, ex-communist members uh, from Slovenia drowning in a fucking money, swimming in a fucking money, don't know what the fuck to do with the money. And this is reality. It was a reality that it was a dilemma of psychiatrist Peter Kopsch since 2008-2010 when he wanted to have a Mercedes, a BMW SUV, and couldn't have one because it would look too fucking evident. And so he had to go for other brands, such as Volkswagen, uh, Škoda, so that he would not get too much attention. Filthy wealthy with psychiatrists buying themselves multiple homes here in Slovenia, 
uh, owning them and also in other countries buying themselves in Belgrade properties in Bosnia and so on. This was a fucking reality, a matter of fact. Myself, looking in 2006 after a driving career, I don't know, kind of crazy stuff, just for a little chanty to buy myself a little land, basically something. And they would just control on every step of every millimeter, take absolutely everything out of the pocket, trying to murder me in 2070 here in a location near Trebne, known as hell and so on. This, this was a reality. Chinese realized that these people have not much to do with the communism. Uh, and they have to take their own side in this stuff for the sake of justice, or they're going to be fucking burned to the ground together. It was a whole nothing other than a trap. A trap that was used to portray me, them as ultimate evil, um, literally through the Serbs, literally through the Russians, literally through Slovenian healthcare, uh, Milan Kuchan, who was thrilled to engage in a medical experimentation, uh, destroy my health as much as possible, cardiovascular heart, uh, lymph nodes, and even disable me to walk uh, through by using uh, old Serbs that would join our processions during hiking trips, such as was, let's say, father of psychiatrist Tatiana Prokshel. They would mm -hmm. go out there and they would just boom take the socks off <laughs> and terrorize the whole group of delegates, the whole group of people with by taking socks off in front of the people like where you had the several Serbs taking the socks off, man, and engaging their own schizophrenia conversation over there like they are at home with Americans, Germans present, looking looking at this stuff. Like, what the fuck happened just now, I mean. Uh, this is a rest. It's a rest. And this shit went on, man. During the hiking trips, stopped here and there, shoes down, sucks off. Basically, fuck you. Here is my ugly feet, stinky, dirty feet on display to you. Enjoy the view. Notice that I didn't like that stuff. I was compelled in beginning the 95 and 96 to observe the filthy feet of the Serbs. Milosevic, Karadzic, these uncles that would come here on display. Gladai moje noge kako su lepe. Look at my legs, how beautiful eh? I don't know what the fuck I would think about this. For them it was like, how do you dare? How do you dare to look at me like this? How do you dare to, uh, uh, don't you see I'm old? Don't you see that I'm resting my feet? Don't you see that the socks are no good? Don't you see the shoes are no fucking good? Don't you see my legs are no good? I was in a, uh, I was a partisan during the World War II, uh, and you dare to look at me like this. Uh, you, 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 we die for this country with this. That was a Milan coach in France. That's how it went. It was too much for Americans. They regrouped themselves. They went on the side quietly with others from the West with living on the side now only serbs taking their socks off the serbs realized this is no good so they would completely completely separate even from that group would split and they would reposition themselves somewhere a little bit further from the group 
and I would still be bring to look vidi ovo su ti moje noge. It was like ljubi moje noge. You know, I am a dad. Imam 80, 70 godina, a sada što ti trebaš je da ljubiš moje noge. It was like the most fucked up mentally ill shit you possibly can imagine during the hiking. It's like kiss my feet style crap. No, like that, you're gonna have the same fucking thing. You're gonna see what it's gonna be to you when you're gonna have, when your legs are gonna hurt, when you're gonna get this, when you're gonna get surgically they fucked up. My left arm area, lymph nodes, surgically they fucked up also my leg, left foot. Pa ćeš da zapamtiš, pa ćeš da zapamtiš. Well, so that you will remember how you insulted us. Well, unfortunately that American side was probably even worse. Unfortunately that British neo-Nazis from London who served no other than German Berlin, probably was even good. Those are the people who, from Rome, where I was told they are planning on military intervention in Slovenia, uh, giving Slovenia to Italy and so on, were the ones they distributed proofs related to the Milan Kuchan, whose popularity here in Slovenia against me, even that I was drugged up, magically was just rising. It was just magically rising. Milan Kuchan instigated that I'm a traitor since 1995. And I had no fucking idea where he got so many proofs against me for his claims, which evidently totally contradicted his claims. And sometimes... Sometimes in, I think it was like 2001, something like this, around 2000 already, Milan Kuchan became not only hit, but it was Vladimir Putin who hated Slovenia in the guts for one to even exist. Vladimir Putin would erase Slovenia on, this was to be a Serbia together with the Croatia. He would have fucking annihilated us more. More would love to annihilate us than Germany. He became more patriotic than myself. So I know that they mentioned, they talked about 2001, 2002, about certain proofs, you know, and those proofs were delivered beginning in 1995 no, by none other than those who cooked the shit. It was Prince Andrew, and it was a Prince Charles, who sometimes, not in 95, not in 96, not in 97, ever would travel from Rome to Slovenia directly with a car. Ever. They were so smart, boy, that from Rome, when they got their tapes, first of all, they threw me inside of the Italian jails in the Rome in 95 and in 96 and in 97. For the sake of the favor, now, they went over there and they backed people uh, with Italian politicians to throw me inside of the jails in the Rome area. They were so careful, they would always travel to Britain back from Rome or to another location and then to Britain, then to Slovenia, so that I would by no chance get an impression having me on board that Something has been given to Slovenian side. Sometimes in the 1999 is when British started for the first time take trips directly from Rome to Slovenia, neighboring Slovenia. And so I can completely affiliate to what I stated that the original tapes for which Vladimir Putin was credited by Milan Kuchin in Slovenia against me as my being traitor to Slovenia trying to erase one were actually distributed to Slovenian side or maybe to Putin who then distributed to Slovenian side by none other than Prince Andrew 
and Prince Charles, now King Charles. The threats that I received from the Serbs, all through, there were surgical procedures also in Belgrade done. To me, talking about the arm, could have been as well as mine done by none other than uh, Slovenian side, representing uh, Lois Petr, Le Dmitry. Grupel, Janes, Jansha. Therefore, when I earlier touched this subject, the most polarized country, at least they wanted to appear to Americans as the most polarized country. Uh, they, they were successful, I'm sure, to the degree that made impression to at least some of them as the most polarized country. Because this is like opposition from, these are the people that were accredited for Slovenian independence. Uh, therefore, contrary to Milan Kuchan, who wanted here Yugoslavia. None of them wanted to be really independent. This is just a controlled opposition to the nation which demanded independence from Yugoslavia, from greater Serbian Chetnik state. That's all there is. But I deem that none of these people ever had anything uh, that would crave for Slovenian independence. I don't believe so. Um, certainly, there are mistreatments of me, which I can confirm at times. Uh, Matched mistreatments of Milan Kuchan, I'm afraid more and more and more, and it's what Milan Kuchan affiliated himself with them with, they were completely inseparable. Milan Kuchan was certain he would never be due to justice, and he had a good reason because he employed. Novo Mesto investigators uh, and the opposite side, the other side, together uh, with what I previously suggested to you for the Chinese. Uh, Americans, Britons, Germans instigated Slovenian side of uh, Louis so it would, it would, it would at least they would want me to see this way, which I still do not. But through setting up Chinese into a cluster of lies, plot, which would rather demonstrate me as a poor guy, disadvantage when compared to the communists. It was most likely that Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor have used Loise Petrle, Dmitri Dup, Rupel, Janez Jansha to cause me surgical damage, to intensify the damages and on my foot and in my arm. And uh, therefore, using certain portion of the police force here in Slovenia to push forward uh, against me greater damage than what Milan Kuchan alone, than what Serbs alone, than what Putin alone, not that they wouldn't want, but could accomplish, if you understand. For everything they did, they were held responsible somehow. But American side knew if they would only employ that other side and maliciously instigated one in violence against me, therefore broadening, widening injuries to me, that I would look even more poor, that my case against the Russia, against the China, against the Serbia would become even more interesting to the world. 
Do you understand me what I'm saying? So what they did was they instigated them. Do it. It's good for you to cause him more harm because they're going to be blamed for it. Unfortunately, for all these parties combined, I realize all through Loise Peterled, Dmitry Rupel never were inside of the ex Yugoslav Communist Party. Janis Jansha had actually even a prominent position inside of the Yugoslav Communist Party. I realize that this Communist Party, next, together with the Chinese, not only never ever existed. But that whole picture, together with Americans, with the Germans, with the British, it was designed, beginning in 1995, to erase me, to murder me, through nothing more than the world of psychiatry. Psychiatry is like a gag they put on your face, and then you have nothing you can, you can tell anybody. Yeah, Because you are a paranoid, you're schizophrenic. You are saying this because you are paranoid, because you are schizophrenic. That's the logic behind it. Yeah, we're going to hospitalize you and we're going to come for you. If you go to the hospital over there to ask, to be examined, to have examined done, you're going to go inside the psychiatric hospital. If you go to the police station, we will physically assault you. And you're going to go to a psychiatric hospital. It's your worst against ours. In 1995, in 1996, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Zoran Muja, psychiatrist, who I think now left to Belgrade a few years ago. He retired already, I think. didn't know a fucking thing about MK Ultra. They had a job to do. Job required them to de depict me as a paranoid schizophrenic, as mentally ill. But I didn't know how to do it. Because the Russian side, because the Serbian side had no knowledge about that stuff. Or maybe they had the knowledge about MK Ultra enough. So they could do stuff like this, but that these people were not specialized in this kind of stuff. This particular people, you understand? This particular psychiatrists. MK Ultra existed before already. I know so. Or they wanted to get the proofs from American side about how to create in individual issues through which one would be self-discredited and knowledge as a paranoid schizophrenic destroyed in other words because American politicians tutored literally tutored Slovenian psychiatrists on how to do this stuff, on how to do this stuff. Likewise, Prince Andrew, on several occasions I have recorded, unless Slovenian side used already back then silicon masks. That's the only other possibility in it, which next to all other evidence I gathered, I will completely disregard, especially because these people never came, uh, they never, they never attempted any kind of rescue, anything, but they only deepened crisis. They only created worse and worse and worse situation. Uh, Two toward Slovenian psychiatrists on how to do with the pencils, on how during the hiking, basically engage person in 24-7, sleeping next to one, 
portraying him reality is completely according to their taste has to be done for the person to now i'm not going to say to destroy himself uh but possibly even <laughs> therefore to delegitimize the discredit himself with his rather strange claims but to rather um what they aimed at was to accomplish probably truly what would be distorted uh, idea, distorted vision in me. So that I would look really like crazy, like a real schizophrenic or really a paranoid. Beginning the 95, just as the cancer equipment that arrived from the United States of America and was handed to Slovenian site, for the sake of cancer experimentations on how they're going to experiment me uh, which they did evaluated all the products food products and so on it was all instigated and given surrendered to slovenian side literally hardware everything by american side americans did this so then we go back to this communist on how I am going to be portrayed as uh, this whole thing, like uh, against uh, Chinese members, against uh, and so on. It had nothing to do with the China. The least, the party that was involved in this, that caused problems to me, all through it was appeared all the time it was china china uh, china and india and so on he's got the least to do what he got the least to do this whole thing with was exactly with china india was hungry for money but china had of all the political uh, uh, systems countries in the world that it would take for the worse, it had to do with the China. China had nothing to do with it. It was, it was, uh, China didn't know what the fuck went on. And I didn't know anything about, about fucking anything. I, I didn't want to, I, I, I left Slovenia in 95 so that I, I would, I wouldn't be here on this crazy Balkans. Uh, till at least they would figure out what the fuck they want. Or they want to be a nation, a country independent, uh, or they just want to serve greater Serbian interests. Um, and uh, in my misfortune, I was thrown straight into the hell, which did not even exist before. Um, but I'm okay with it for one reason or the other. Um, why to worry about something that you can't change, basically, right? I mean, if it's not going to make a difference, then you shouldn't be you shouldn't be paying attention to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Why don't you now, guys in Hollywood, do me a favor? You know, if you need if you need assistance on how to if you need director for the movie, how to create the movie like this, and I'll give you a fucking reminder of what you tutored here, Slovenian psychiatrists, uh, on how basically to how you do this stuff like this. In ninety five and in ninety six, when the MK Ultra started. Slovenian side was desperate. Milan Kuchan was desperate to just throw me inside of the, with my family of my own, inside of the home for demented people, which is located right next door to uh, home for elderly. And through extensive amount of torture, Milan Kuchan was absolutely sure that I will become demented enough to just fit uh, a repatriation 
procedure from United States of America and end up in the facility where the director, female director, was having me, hosting me since 95, oftentimes during MK Ultra, for me to get used to life behind a doors for uh, mentally disabled uh, people with a mental difficulties, not only difficulties, but unacceptable for society, though. They had me also in the building next to that one, which was actually quite a lot of violence that went on and so on. So, um, Americans had a really, really evil plan. This, this land of the brave and free, this, this country where I immigrated and even became naturalized citizen in 2000, you know, you owe me a fucking movie about how to make a paranoid schizophrenic at least look like. What exactly does it take uh, to, you're gonna, you're gonna do me a video but you're going to, I'm definitely going to make you one. But you can see the horror behind destroying one, at least 1,000 personal items. I did some horror already, which angered the Russian side because I went through the area and I demonstrated you along the river how the Miroslav Berger hero was used. Others here wanted me to see the reality is yes, about the hijacking, abductions, and so on. Russian side uh, accomplished to have many of these videos deleted from the internet. But I am going to be back and I am going to be way more punctual, way more psychiatric to demonstrate you from the vision from the point of view from the psychiatrist Tatiana Proxer psychiatrist Tatiana Proxer who last time threatened me if I only mentioned the word MK Ultra just before she alone told me be careful don't say 2015 you must say 2014 because that's when I left to Begunia from Novomist to ask for transfer at the end of the 2014 if you only mention MK Ultra again is going to be uh, ambulance video is going to pick you up, and it did happen. So was scared for her sanity after the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, after the Zoran Muja from Ljubljana, psychiatrist, police explained her what her job is in her first year of the university in Ljubljana. She got scared. She was like, in her mind, she didn't say any of it. On the side, she did it with me, but she liked me, actually. She was like, fuck. She said, if I'm going to be doing this, uh, am I going to be normal myself? What about, what about I? What about myself? So she had a dilemma several days that went on in her head she couldn't she was not decided about it she was not like this was a girl that would take decisions like this yeah she learned to make decisions like this and then stick to those decisions but that was uh for her alone for her being around me before that was a play not even necessary bad because she liked me. She liked me. Tatiana Proxer liked me. She wanted... Oh, well, she actually wanted to be my wife. But because I was so nasty, because I was so bad, and I probably I really was, I think I was, uh, in her women's mind, um, she figured out that I'm up to no good. So as well as mine, uh, now I make use of that stuff. After a few days, she reported herself to this psychiatrist, this patient, this older um, staff, professionals, health professionals. 
Uh, and uh, guess what the answer was? Even American side participated. Even American side. And uh, she didn't. She didn't complicate anymore. It was just yeah, 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 okay. But they explained her pretty much that whatever it is the fuck you do, just like with your muscles, brain too is a muscle, sort of muscle too. And if you if you continue to exercise this muscle, this is how they got her into this stuff. Because I remember her. This girl was just as innocent as, as any other girl out there. But I'm going to tell you today, maybe you can use this in your Hollywood movies. Now, how about that? How that stuff is done. They told her, well, if, and I was from Americans, if you will let your brain to wander, uh... And they use me as an example, like him, then it could be dangerous. But if you will continue to utilize your brain, if you continue to exercise your brain, whatever you do to this guy, so he would see the world distorted in most distorted way, there's really nothing to worry about. And that was enough for her. She just wanted to hear, or maybe she just wanted to hear me this because she had me next to her. Good, thank you. By the way, her father was actually a nice guy. Um, he was not a bad person, her father. On, on the father's side, she's a Serbian. Um... I'm just using her example because she spent a lot of time next to me and I can easily relate to the memories that involved her or even her family. That's what makes things, uh, when you give the account, when you give an actual account about things, easy for one also to analyze. Uh, you have to go beyond that stuff to, to get the, the full picture of it. Like I stated, all the sides are in it together with one another. They destined me to be destroyed. The British were the ones they invented this stuff about uh, how they're going to depict me uh, as a poor, uh, as a disadvantaged party, uh, opposed to the communists, to the wealthy communists, and so on. They were the ones they instigated, and they eventually instigated even in front of the Chinese. Uh, shot them right in front of me, uh, and then they calmed them down. It was like, calm the fuck down. We're just gonna kill this guy. That's all there is to it. You know, British. That's a long knife behind the back. I know exactly what happened. With absolutely every every crime British committed against me. And so they told her, "There's nothing to worry about for you." As long as you continue to utilize your brain, it's, everything is going to be just fine. It's going to be okay. You've got really nothing to worry about. Now, I realize that I did distance myself from the topic we had before, which is started with this issue of Russian blogger blown up. I understand there was a toy that was used, whatever it is. Now. I told you, Russians brainwashed me thoroughly between 2012 2015. They contemplated on exactly this kind of incident, asking me all the time on how they're going to do it. Um, talking about this diner that you see right there, the whole street, I think, it was even involved in MK Ultra. Unless it was some other location that was used, Russians did a lot of that stuff. <clears throat> However, um, the Thai side, the Thailandese, never had any kind of intentions to kill me, injure me, harm me in absolutely any way. Um, 
I estimate one that it was scared, even for life, because they didn't know what the fuck goes on. I told you this is not just like this. This is the country that spans between the China and India over there, next to Bangladesh and uh, Myanmar. And so for me to say is just um, uh, very, very, very important for me to declare <laughs> that uh, something possibly would not go wrong. Uh, there was another Bayra Kitiaba who stated me, if it's going to be too much stuff going on about Bayra Kitiaba in Slovenia, uh, most likely also will not be. And there was also another Bayra Kitiaba who, if it was not the real one, to me, the main thing is that the real Bayra Kitiaba is safe. That is the main thing to me. And there was also, in respect to this case, another Bayra Kitiaba who um, talked about a relationship also uh, with the Russia. Uh, As per if it's going to be too many issues involving this and that and so on and so forth, and then probably it's not going to be in this and that. This is completely fine with me. What is it going to be and what is it going to, going to be? Uh, this is something that she have to make a decision. I never was the one who pushed her anything in my life. Uh, I was guilty in her eyes. Uh, and to tell you the truth, I don't mind being guilty. I'm the kind of person that I want to be guilty, if only possible, for something. So that person can learn that I'm actually not really such a bad person. Maybe that exactly the opposite. Uh, but in this case, this is important issue for me, for this countries in the area of Thailand, together with Thailand, to acknowledge um if anything is bad really about the thailand that's just uh the evil that i experience on my own skin that will be related to none other than british colonialism who paid cash for it for the bad stuff germans Maybe Angela Merkel, who rushed in 2006, angry to Thailand to convince them to destroy me at all the costs. So, considering reliance of the Thailand on the West, security-wise, military, uh, tourism, and all that, uh, it's just the right thing for me to declare all these things, you know, because through all that shit, that's where the Vladimir Putin also sails in his issues. Now, Vladimir Putin didn't penetrate into Thailand because here I am. I am your ally. I am your friend. I am, I don't know what the fuck it is. Even the Thai king made a lot of money with the Putin. Uh, and I bet it's very important to him. I'm not denying any of that stuff. But the thing is that he wouldn't be anywhere even near as successful as he was if it wasn't for German, American, British side. This is the world. This such is the world. People learn to take sides. Uh, it's a communist. Oh, it's a, it's imperialist. It's a king. It's, it's I don't know. Leftist, right, this, that, do, 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 do. This is like you take, you know, a hammer in your hands and you start to hammer uh, basically a stone. Uh, and then you take another tool and you start to hammer with that tool again and another one and another one. It's just to break basically the world, society as much as possible. It's called the divide. And then based on that division, you assert the solutions to the problems that you created, and that's called control, divide and conquer. 
system, which we already know how it goes. Um, <clears throat> just an important issue for me to declare uh, about the Thailand basis is to consider that uh, if something bad was to happen to me in Thailand, um, that would be basically by Putin buying assistance of I catch something right now <laughs> of some Thai royal basically enough that he would see himself in an interest enough so that he would cause to me a harm but other than that the Thai royals were never ever in it to cause me harm of any kind they were out there because um, I have no idea because they like me. That's all there is to it. Everything good about the Thailand is their origin, their culture, and everything bad, as I stated to you, in my opinion, the way I see it, the way I view it. Like, I can't forget that 2006 Angela Merkel, she was completely on fucking toes obsessed with the idea to destroy me he couldn't hide her appetites all the way to 2008 things just went for worse and worse and worse and worse and worse well the british saxe Coburg gotha windsor's battenbergers figure out that they wanted me repatriated back to slovenia because it was nowhere else anywhere near the amount of crime that was done against me than here in Slovenia and that's what I'm trying to say Germans wanted and so once they got me out of Slovenia through I wouldn't even talk about any kind of human rights here stuff this is crazy uh, well you know they just just visited whoever you know desperately to to get it done all the way everything bad about thailand is whatever comes from germans from the britons from americans even that's all i wanted to declare i'm a very very difficult uh, partner uh, marriage show uh, option very difficult one i completely realize this i totally realize this um and it is but also is not just as donald trump stated do you see what it takes to save one you know it definitely doesn't take to save one to continue to push him under the water and uh <laughs> now use long knives in the back like those from rome let's say uh to save one that's all i wanted to say for this video uh, it was something that i'm forced i had to record the video record and for the hollywood come on do me a favor and do one of those horror movies you know with guy locked inside with neighbors participating in crime against one show a little bit the backgrounds of why people would do that kind of stuff you know killer for hire stuff how that stuff is done you know how you produce rampage shootings and uh how you you know the way you design nicely the society how you how you all that do do some of that stuff you know do some real stuff uh, don't only do you know some kind of stuff like you know based on this serial killers and all these people i come to realize when assessing all that stuff you're just basically demonstrating your success you know like i don't fucking believe you for any of this charles manson people other than all of them being your fucking MKR products, which I just simply knew 
not only how to handle you, not only how to handle, but also how to handle you. Do some of that real stuff over there in Harvey. You have the money, you have time. Do something, be fucking productive. Come on. You always have to come with a new scenarios and stuff like this. Why don't you do, I'll give you an assignment. Why don't you do for me a video like this that you demonstrate how you do this, you know, with a person and so on, so that the person look as crazy as possible and, and you know, sometimes God knows how. I don't even know how, but some people, I suppose that some people really, really the distorted reality they they create in their subconscious mind. And this is the thing, they create in their subconscious mind. Yeah. When I walk the fields of death out there or was inside in here with these murderers, employees of Barbara Rowe, Not even one single fucking time I have bitten whatever they had to say. You know what it is? <laughs> 26 years of brainwashing, stealing lies in one, convincing one in something. And not even on one fucking occasion, it wouldn't be that I wouldn't give them, I wouldn't give them a piece of doubt. <laughs> then you endure like terrible punishment. It was all physical violence that would just storm down on you like a rain, like a storm, basically. That was considered as challenging. So what they, the way, the way I'm going to tell you, psychiatry is the way this stuff is done, the psychiatry, paranoid schizophrenia, a personality is instilled in one through the brainwash, 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 brainwash of distorted reality for which individual knows totally is completely distorted. And on certain uh, discourse, certain uh, interventions during this brainwash for which the psychiatrists who are doing this stuff know that the person knows is not true what he is being taught. However, for which they hope if just long enough is going to go, and if for every doubt, piece of doubt that he gives, is okay as long as he is engaging in crazy bullshit. All kinds of gimmicks and stuff. Mr. Bill Clinton is an expert in MKUltra. The one whom I opposed and sure never will be on my matrimony of any kind present. That's for sure not. Fuck no. But the one Hillary Clinton protested me, I, for me, will not allow Bill to be on his matrimony, but he will demand to be at his funeral. If only long enough, and if every misdirection or if the individual subject gives you even like openly doubts you and uh, uh, acknowledge you as insane, like I did, acknowledge these people, psychiatrists and uh, uh, MKUltra staff members, police investigators that did brainwashing stuff, I would laugh to them, humiliate them. Is always follow up with the use of extreme violence and death threats, beatings, which was done on me. I'm thinking about Al Pacino right now. I should say Robert De Niro. He is America, great talent and stuff like this. Nursery's rights and stuff like this. Then an individual might eventually even develop uh, probably a mental... Um, problems on a broader scale, uh, long-term problems, chronic problems, mental illness. Yeah. Otherwise, it's called Miami Vice. And that's how a real psychiatrist does to you guys. 
That's all I want to say to you for this video. The psychiatry, the MK Ultra psychiatry, the psychiatry itself, mental illnesses, I have them like here inside in the little finger. I could be a teacher of psychiatrists, trust me. With experience I had, with the degree of lunacy I experienced, you can bet on it. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.